Well, m m many thanks to this um, excellent panel. I have really listened to you with great emphasis. Well, I, I, for me, it's very important that everyone working in the Bundeskartellamt has listened carefully. You work in a hip agency. Now, <laughs> with, an, now with an international seal. Enjoy it. It only comes <laughs> along. It comes along very rarely. Just, just one, one brief remark. When I listened to you, I became aware how much the Bundeskartellamt has expanded its mandate over time. I mean, if you go back to 1958, we started here in, in Berlin, by the way, uh, with abuse control and cartels, that was all. And then it was enriched by merger control. Well, that fits well, of course. But it was added by uh, public procurement and the control of public procurement. Later on, we, we implemented transparency schemes on fuel, on energy. I mean, who had thought that this would fit into the debate that we have today in this manner? We have additional tools in consumer protection. Um, we can do sector inquiries, inquiries in this regard. We have heard this morning, but maybe this is even going to be expanded. And we have 30 colleagues at the Bundeskartell. I'm working on the transparency register, a new fully digital register um, that, that is in charge of companies uh, that get registered there, that are excluded from public procurement for a certain time, which can be released from the register if they do proper compliance. So also here, we will have an additional competence in monitoring compliance and maybe even in the long run in setting uh, compliance standards in a way. So that was a broadening of our mandate. And if you look at the Facebook case, a case of 300 pages, 100 of them are about privacy. I mean, this is, I believe, Benoit, a, a expansion in mandate also with regard to substance. And here I refer to what Olivier has said. When, when, we, when, we, when we did that in that case, everyone said, what are you doing there? Is that your business, privacy? And today, if you look at Section 19A, you see it's reflected in there. If you look at the DMA, it's reflected in the DMA. So it seems from time to time, competition agencies also on their own behalf have to do something to expand their mandate, of course, always in the limits of the, of the, of the law that is in place. I think that will continue like that. I always remember the saying of the president of the Federal Supreme Court, Mrs. Limberg, on the occasion of the 60th birthday of the Bundeskartellamt, when she said, you must take care that you do not dilute your core brand. I think I can say we're far from that. Competition is still at the heart of the Bundeskartellamt. That is our core brand, even if we expand into other, into other areas of law. So I think we have had a, a wonderful and really inspiring, interesting morning here in, in Berlin. Thank you again very much to everyone who has contributed, also to you, Mr. Schwemlein, for, for being with us today. I'm looking forward to this afternoon. Um, You're invited now to a lunch, a buffet lunch on the first floor here of the hotel. Many thanks for being with us. And we will meet again in two years at the latest. Mr. Giegold has already promised to be here as well. Many thanks. <laughs> Goodbye.